Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've had a bit of AOS content on the channel, but the warmer community has blessed me with some information and we're going to go over and talk about it. The information is the pre-orders for the week. So before we get into that, I want to say um, I will be going over what was out to the Depticon and bits of information we've had about the upcoming Warhammer Fest. But to let you know, I've contacted GW for certain subjects to get information. But they haven't got back to me yet. So when they get back to me, I will produce a video. But until then, we're going to talk pre-orders, we're going to talk fire slayers, we're going to talk molten dwarfs. So, before, you know, I forget what I'm doing, let's get into the video. Right guys, as we know, Saturday is going to be pre-order for AOS, which we know is going to be Fire Slayers. So, with any good update, there's got to be a battle tone. So, Fire Slayers Mark II, it's the Soul Wars up update. It's the same as what happened to Korn. It's the uh, Soul Wars update. So, it's all the fluff is bringing them up to date. So, it's what's happening since... The realms went nuts because Nagash couldn't keep just the little bit of power he had. He had to get more. But if you want to find out more about our fire dwarves, about our our mercenaries with attitude, it's uh, this is the way to go. I'm actually quite looking forward to this battle tome because I hear a lot of people mourning that they're not as powerful as what they could be. So let's see what this battle tome does because by the look of it 2019 is going to be the year of the update to be honest it's the re-release year so we've had corn now we've got fire slayers hopefully we'll get um, our sky dwarves Cahadra overlords and another one I hear more people moan about a lot is Seraphon but I don't see him that bad but hey oh but we all know there's going to be a nice little special pleasurable one coming up as well but we're not talking about them today so go back over it battle tome it's going to be soul wars update it's going to have all the new rules all the new uh battle plans and it's got it's got um a few new you know a few new updates that everyone's going to enjoy going to give them a little bit of spice a bit of oogle spice but, as we all know, it's not a re-release if they don't have a battle tome, but also dice. So, as we can see, we've got a pack of dice, they're all little special uh, marked for uh, dwarves. If you don't mind, if you like to have your flavour dice um, the uh, for the army you've got, nice little incentive for you by up, but... Personally, I'm not that bothered. I just use I can just use any old dice. So, as you probably could tell when you look at my uh, Blood Bowl videos, it's just I'm using the one straight out of the uh, box. I haven't picked up any dice for any of my teams. So, um, yeah, if this is your flavour, go at it full speed. And back by popular demand, guys. It's not a Fire Slayer army without the Doom Seeker and. He's being re-released for this uh, pre-release, I think. He's, I don't know whether he's just going to be on limited sale, because that seems to be a thing that GW is doing, if you look at Shadow Spear and the other boxes, but perhaps he could be a limited HQ, I don't know. So it's funny how he was there, then disappeared, then now he's back. So I don't know whether this is going to be the new thing GW does. But... Yeah, he's a lovely looking model, full of detail. He's well, what you can what can you expect? He's a podgy, naked, hairy dwarf, covered in keys, his runes, with an amazing crest that well I I know these forty K players that would love to have a crest like that on some of their players. But uh it's an amazing model. 
I'm not even a I'm not even a fire slayer collector, and I'm thinking I might have to pick him up. He might be a uh, giveaway at some point, but that's for another time. But do you guys um like the fact th like the fact that they re-releasing this model? Are you you know excited for this? Are you not bothered? Is it yeah, it's okay. It gives a little bit of extra for the uh, pre pre order, but there's nothing really there. Let me know because to be honest, it's not a lot of uh, community comments have been coming in or you know emails straight. So I just want to know what you guys are thinking. So yeah, comment section is there for your comments. Funny enough. And now onto the section that I find the most interesting, more than battle tomes, models, and dice, is the these new edition, endless spells, but they're not endless spells. They endless spells plus. Yeah, I think I'll call them that. Endless spells plus, because basically, the non-conventional magic users. And now we're having their own version of magic, as we saw with the judgments of corn. So I got a feeling that these, what are they called, magnet invocations, will be, you know, the fire slayers version of this. Perhaps it's going to be the same, the same uh, mechanic where they say at the end of it it's a four plus or a five plus to keep it on on the field. Um, as you can see, they're all there in all the glory. Um, let's get let's have a look. It's we've got the flame spitter, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Okay, I'll try and pronounce Zagron flame spitter, a runic firewall, and a molten inferno. And I believe the molten inferno is the one that looks like it's coming out of the ground, ready to chew on someone's face. So. If I had to guess, it would probably be um, the wall is going to be a four up, the eruption, the flame spitter is going to be a five plus, and possibly, oh no, three plus, four plus, and the was it the molten inferno is going to be like a five plus. So that's my prediction. It's going to be the same mechanic as the judgments, and it's going to be in that order as well. I think it's the way to like summon them, the way to keep them on the pitch so do you guys think it's going to be the same mechanic do you agree with me if it's going to be in that order the three plus four plus and the five plus is it going to be like four plus to keep it on the field i said pitch earlier i know let me know and they've also said it's the zargrim priests are the only ones that can summon them so again another another creed and where it gives me that feeling of the same mechanic so it's the one model can summon these models but they're not endless spells per se the endless spells plus yeah and like i said do you guys agree with me do you think i'm right do you think i'm way out of the uh way out the left field on this one again hit me in the comments and now we are going to end the pre-order rundown with no other than scenery because everyone's going to have their scenery this is called the Magmic Battle Forge so it says it's a tactical linchpin for the army to enhance the powers so we haven't been told what it is just yet that they can do but I'm guessing that's going to be later on in the week so we will keep our ears out for that I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be a little bit more army wide than the corn one because I, I felt that was a little lacklustre. I know it was like, yeah, it gave a little bit of a debuff to uh, wizards when they're close by, but I feel like most artifacts when it comes to wizards can negate it with. You know, negate the debuff with just giving like the extra buff to so they don't miss it type thing. So I don't know. I'm I'm a I I feel they hit and miss with the scenery, but gets me on to another subject where I think perhaps we got a little bit too much unique scenery. I know it's nice the for every army to be 
the same way they've got their tomes their dice they you know their scenery but some of it doesn't really make sense um it's like i can imagine like best example of scenery that i can see is like the sylvaneth or like um the beastmen where um of course sylvaneth are one with nature so of course they can like build woods on the spot because that's their thing and um beastmen they're a they're a army on the go always on the move so they haven't got like some great monument they've got a stone which they can like put blood sacrifice to they can carve into it and it's there it's then it's that altar for them but when you've got things like i don't know a, a shipwreck that somehow has come onto the beach from ether sea or like you've got this inferno you've got this battle forge so does that mean like that you've got fire slayers lugging this about that's not really part of the army they're just carrying it everywhere with them have you have you got certain members of chaos tribes that are there to build altars just and take it apart and rebuild it, it some of it is a little bit much i think because like if you consider like what the what the background what the law is for um for these armies so perhaps it's me perhaps i'm thinking too much about it perhaps i'm um i'm looking too much uh, too much from like the books rather than on the the field it just doesn't i don't know it just doesn't feel right it just feels like they're trying to pe uh, appease everybody but it's starting to like not make self sense like are they going to start saying in these books well yeah they've got like half a palace turn up but stormcast can click their fingers and the wizard just make it appear you know it just it's, it sounds stupid then not it? and it's i don't know i don't know perhaps it's me if you agree let me know if you disagree please tell me why perhaps you don't even care because you're just going well it's a extra buff for my army so i don't really care as long as i can get it on the table which is another perfectly fine answer but please let me know what you think right guys and that's it that's the end of the video it was a very short one today it was a kind of a ease back into it for myself but i just wanted to go over what they previewed and my thoughts on it um like i said already do you agree with anything i've said do you believe that the invocation is going to be treated the same as judgments where and what's the summoning role and um, what's the role to keep them on the uh the field um have you got got a, a a point on the scenery topic that i brought up towards the end did you do you agree do you disagree and why do you disagree or why do you agree you know it's this is a community page so let's chat you know this as a community chat um and I said tomorrow I will start looking over the new rules and the updates that they are starting to put out for the fire slayers. So, um, yeah, it, I'll be doing another video tomorrow, and then Wednesday will be the Blood Bowl video because it's um, goblins versus Nurgle Rotters. So it's week two, match four. So keep an eye out for that as well. But if Blood Bowl's not your thing and you're just listening for AOS, they will be coming up soon as well. Um, and I just want to say thank you for watching the video again. Um, please be aware we've got Teespring and we've got um, we've got PayPal. I've dropped the Patreon, but I'm thinking starting next week, I'm going to start doing giveaways for like certain things like i might get doom seeker as a hq and then we'll try and sort out a giveaway but stay tuned for that please share this uh channel amongst your friends spread the word it means so much to us so until i see you again adios my friends have an awesome week have an awesome day have an awesome year have an awesome life Enjoy it rolling dice.